hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i make my sims this was highly requested so let's just get started first i want to talk about a couple of mods that i use in create a sim so first you're going to need nros master controller and nros master controller integration you will need those mods to change some cast settings and i will show you guys my settings later on I also have the EA eyelash removal mod by S Club so your sims won't have the EA eyelashes and another mod I want to show you guys is the UI mod for more freckles and moles so yeah as you can see I have a bunch of options over here so that is a great mod. You will have more freckles so i will just show you guys a couple of them more beauty marks so yes i really really like this mod now i'm going to show you guys my cast settings so if you have nros master controller and nros master controller integration you can right click these three dots here in the left bottom corner and you will open the CAS settings. So I want to show you guys a couple of things in here. If you click on category changes, you can allow adult clothes for teenagers. So if you click on this, for example, it will uh, be true and now you can use female adult clothes for teenagers and you also have you can do the same with male clothes so yes that is very nice let me just go back to the settings you can also disable uh, clothing filter so if you disable the um, if you click on sleepwear for example you will see all clothing in the sleepwear category so all the clothing you can use for everyday wear for example then you can also use uh, those clothing pieces for sleepwear so that is also very very nice and i also use sliders in my game my sliders folder is actually up for download there is a link in the description down below and i always uh, set my max sliders in CAS. Um, I always do 10,000, so yes. And this is another really important thing multiple accessories and multiple makeup per location. This is just so amazing because you can add like more makeup, you can add nose masks, face shadows, highlighter, blush you can just add everything so you will have to set these two things to true and to make your cas run smoother you can enable a show and compact form accessories clothing and hats i really can't live without this so this is a must to reduce lag in your cas and the last thing in here is the slider multiple facial. I always set this to two. And it basically means you can drag the sliders even further. I don't really know how to explain that, but I can show you guys. So for example, if we go to like mouth height, now you can set it to like 500. So yeah, you can like lower the mouth even more so yeah that's what that does and yes those were all of my cast settings so let's move on to creating the sim i always start off with this base sim i don't know why you can find her in the pre-made cast sims bin thingy <laughs> I don't know why, but I just really like starting out with her. She is just such a good base. So then I will do the skin. I always use the same skin. Sometimes I will use a different one, 
but like 99% of the time I'm using eSkin Fresh. It is my absolute favorite skin. I just love how realistic it looks. So yes, there are two versions. So yeah, these are the skin tones and I love this skin. I am obsessed. Then I will just adjust the body sliders a little bit and I will just get rid of her beauty mark and her eyeliner and then I will pick a hairstyle. So I really want to use this hairstyle, it's just so pretty and I think I want to give her blonde hair. I always pick the hair first before I do the face shape, I don't know why. <laughs> And then we're going to move on to eyebrows. I really, really love these eyebrows by Burnt Waffles with the red thumbnail. They're just very nice. Okay, I gave her some eyebrows. Now we're going to move on to her eyes. And I always like to use the first preset here. I don't know, I just really like how those eyes look and then I'm going to give her some contacts. I think I want to use these eyes on her. Wonder Sims on Tumblr has so many great contacts by the way. They are so nice. So yeah, I think I want to use these ones. I think I want to give her green eyes and I always make this a tiny little bit darker. I mean, there's like no difference. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to edit her eyes because like the iris looks pretty big So I'm going to make that a bit smaller. I also have these upper and lower eyelid height Sliders which I use all the time. So this is the upper Eyelid and I usually bring that down a little and then we're going to move over to the lower eyelid height and I will move that up a bit <laughs> and um, then we are going to I always make my sims eyes um, pretty small so let's just make them a little bit smaller I also have this eye width slider and I just make their eyes a bit thinner and then we will go to the rotate eyes slider we can just rotate them a little bit and then i like to give her lashes so i use the s club eyelashes but i use the fixed versions by buckley so i will uh, leave a link to that in the description down below so they won't glitch with the hair like they will just go behind the hairstyle so yes let me pick some lashes i really like these ones they look good on her okay i also have eyelash sliders so let's see we will adjust the top height because as you can see they are a little bit too low i don't know if you can see it over here so we will just uh, move the eyelashes and we can also make them longer okay maybe that's a bit too much okay there we go uh the bottom lashes look fine i think i want to make the iris even smaller we can also stretch our eyes a little bit more so we can do this okay nice then I like to move on to, oh wait, I also, let's just go to eyebrows. I always lower their brows. I always do them pretty low. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to move on to the head and I always make their head a bit thinner. Let's see, head width, I always move this to the left okay there we go and now we're going to work on her mouth so i also always lower the mouth i just really like how that looks so we will do that and let's do the bottom lip so we will have uh, the lip width um 
usually make that a bit wider let's just do the lip shape and let's make her lips a bit thicker i always give my sims like pretty thick lips so this is the top lip we will also make that thicker and here we have the width as well i think i will just also the undo button is my best friend i use the undo button so much <laughs> uh, so yes here we have lip shape i mean that is fine okay now i'm going to lower her mouth a little bit more because i made the lips thicker and another slider i love using is middle upper lip width you can just make the top lip a bit wider also mouth definition i usually move that to the left so i mean it looks fine let's just do that okay let's make uh the lower lip a little bit wider maybe <laughs> okay and another slider that i use is the where is it lip fatness so uh, you can also make the lips bigger with this slider so i will just do that another thing is mouth curve i usually move this to the right my sims always have resting bitch faces so also the corners rotate slider they just always look very sad <laughs> so yeah that's what i do and in the top lip or upper lip category we have this lip thin lower whatever it is <laughs> you can like uh do this so i usually move this a little bit to the right i just don't want to do it like this i think that looks very weird and i don't know her lips look very sharp <laughs> so i usually do that a tiny a little bit and this lighter upper lip corners width or something if you move this to uh, the right uh do you see like how that changes i don't know i think that looks really pretty okay so i think her mouth looks pretty nice now we're going to move on to the nostrils i always lower them a little bit i also have this lighter nose tweak i like to move that to the left and let's just go back to her eyes and lower her eyes a little bit I always just go back and forth between these categories and change things so i still think the iris is too big so let's make that even smaller maybe i will change her contacts later on but let's just lower her eyes a little bit more okay let's move on to the jaw so jaw height i think that is fine yeah let's see jawline with this will change the jaw so let's see i usually move this a little bit to the left and jaw shape you can change well the shape <laughs> um i think that looks fine we have another jaw with slider so we will just i mean i think it looks fine already and there are a couple of more jaw sliders in the global category so we will just have to go here we have jawline height so um i will just see how i'm always clicking the undo button we'll just move that to the right we also have jawline rotate okay and now we're going to do her chin so i usually uh, move her chin up a little bit and make the chin a bit smaller and i have two chin width sliders i usually use the first one so we can just make that a little bit smaller and i also have the lower nose height slider i never never use nose height uh the one that just comes with the game because i don't know i feel like or maybe it's fine but i don't know it used to make the nose look pretty weird so i always just use lower nose height so yeah i will just move her nose 
a little bit okay and nice now we're going to move on to some makeup so i always use this eyeshadow it is so pretty i love it and i think we're going to do like a neutral brown eyeshadow for her let's do that and i'm always playing around with the opacity so yeah i will just lower this a little bit and i always use um these eye bags on my sims these ones i just think they look really nice <laughs> I don't know why and okay now we're going to move on to blush because I have a lot of stuff in here and I usually have like a certain order for like the things that I do so the first thing I uh, always give my sims is a nose mask so I use the nose masks by burnt waffles they are so nice and I will just like click on all of them and see which one fits the sim the best so i really like this nose mask on her and now we will have to change the color and make sure it matches her skin tone this can be pretty tricky sometimes so okay that looks pretty good and i always uh, lower the opacity for the nose masks I just feel like this is a bit too intense so I usually do like halfway kind of and okay the next thing we're going to do is I always give my sims these cheek shadows so I will just have to find them real quick here they are and I always do the lowest opacity they just add some I don't know contour <laughs> to her face and uh by the same creator like the same set i also always give them this uh, no shadow so we will just change the color we will do something like that okay that matches and and then i will just lower the opacity okay nice 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 i also really love this highlighter i just think it looks very nice <laughs> okay we will just play around with the opacity i also really really love this blush it just adds like some color to her cheeks so yes i will just change the color this one is a bit weird with like uh recoloring but <laughs> um let's see like this maybe okay that's nice and don't forget lower the opacity so uh yes we will do that okay that's nice now we're going to give her a lipstick let's see which one do i want to use this is one of my favorites i really really love that one and i also love this matte lip I really like that one. I think this is my favorite lipstick at the moment. I just really, really like it. It looks so nice. So I think we're going to use that on her. I think we're going to do a more neutral lip on her. So yes, we will just recolor this. Okay, that is nice. I really like that okay lower the opacity now we're going back to blush and i also have these mouth corner shadow thingies <laughs> or whatever they are i also really like using these and i usually do like lowest opacity okay i really like that and then i will just go back to like the eyes nose or the lips and change things so yes i'm just going to uh, adjust the eyelid sliders again i just want her eyes to be a little bit thinner so we will just do that and the eye width slider we will just do that okay nice and maybe the nose we also have like nose definition slider i really like that so maybe we can do um 
that okay and lower her nostrils a little bit more and then i will go back to the eyes again maybe we can rotate them a little bit so we will just do that okay and there's also the eye distance slider so i just like to move them a little bit closer to each other did i even do anything no <laughs> okay uh now we will do like eye height again like lower them a little bit more i think her a nose mask is still a little bit too intense. This is also really good to know. If you right click something that you have used, you can delete it. So you don't have to delete everything. You can just, uh, we will just click on it and right click to delete it. So yeah, that is good to know. So yes, I just lowered the opacity. Now I'm just going to delete her blush and um, add it again so it's like on top of the nose mask again. Another thing I like to use on my sims is, um, let's see, these hairlines. So yeah, we will just have to change the color. Then I will go back to like her uh, root hair color. I will just memorize this and then copy it to the hairline okay so let's just go back and we will just add the number so 113 190 and we will just um copy that to everything make this a, a little bit darker so it like matches her eyebrows so yeah i think that looks very nice and sometimes i will just lower the opacity a little bit and for her ears i can't really see them right now but i always like to adjust the earlobe slider a little bit and maybe i want to make her head a little bit thinner so we will just do that. I also like to give my sims eyeliner. Sometimes there are two eyeliners that I really, really love. So is it this one? I mean, this one's super pretty too. <laughs> we could use this one on her, but the one I was talking about is this one. I think it's so pretty. I mean, look at that. And there's also uh, this version, which is more like a smoky eyeliner. I don't know, <laughs> but I think I want to use that eyeliner that I clicked on this one. Yes, it's very nice. So I just gave her an outfit. Now we're going to move on to accessories. Oh, her shorts are kind of glitching, but oh well, it is fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm also going to give her some nails. I give all of my sims these long nails. Let's see. I can never find them. Oh, here they are. Okay, maybe we can also give her... Uh, we won't be able to see earrings. Maybe we can give her a necklace. Let's see. What do we have? That's not a necklace. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can do this one or the cute little stars or oh I think I want to give her this one yes okay that's pretty now we're going to recolor her nails I think I want to make them white okay so now we're going to head back to the mouth category because this is where the body sliders are so like uh, leg sliders the waist the hips so yeah they are in the global uh, mouth category so yeah so i'm just going to adjust these sliders a little bit so let's see what do we have in here we also have uh the leg oh gosh <laughs> what am i doing a uh, leg uh with so i'm just going to make her legs a bit wider and um her hips okay and let's see i also have butt sliders yes 
So um, we will just change or adjust her booty, <laughs> rotate. And I also have um, breast sliders. So let's see. Here we have this one, breast cleavage. Um, yeah, we will just do that. We have depth, so um, fullness. I don't even know. <laughs> and a uh, breast scale i mean that is fine vertical position okay there we go and i also have a height slider and uh that slider is in the global head and ears uh category so it's all the way at the bottom sim height so i think i want to make her a little bit shorter maybe there we go so yes, that is her and I think we're done. Now we can choose some traits for her and an aspiration. I have no idea what I want her to do, so we will just skip this. But yeah, I think we're done, you guys. So she will be up for download. I will do her other outfits of camera so yes that is basically how i create my sims i hope that this video was helpful and yes i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching i love you all so so much and i will talk to you guys in my next video okay bye